Holy fuck! Holy shit, what a fucking show that was. Fuck, damn. What a fucking ending. Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your TLC 2020 Enter the Storm, where the fuck they call it, review. And holy shit, what a fucking ending that was. Fucking amazing. Like, fuck, that was like fucking the attitude right there. You know what I mean? Like, I get it, I fucking said shit about Orton and fucking Wyatt, but fuck. Holy fuck, what a fucking ending that was, man. Fuck. The show had its boring moments, right? But... The show wasn't the worst show of all time. I will give it that. Fuck, like, I, shit happened tonight. Okay? Maybe fucking WWE fighting listening, even though it's not a Raw, right? But this is how you can get your sh ratings a bit, bit, bit better, okay? When you do shit, when you actually do good shit in a pay-per-view, people are gonna watch the next fucking show. People are gonna keep watching if you do good controversial shit. This is what I'm talking about. Fucking badass for fuck's sake. That was fucking badass. Holy shit. Like the fucking added terror, you know what I mean? It doesn't need to, you don't need to call a show the added terror or word of fuck. Just do shit like that was like considered cool back then. And you'll fucking, you know, do it with cool shit, you know, and people will love it. What a fucking ending that was. My fucking God. Decent show there. Decent show. Grab your soul in the styles, glass, wine glass, water the fuck, and drink it back instantly there. Cheers. Oh shit, oh shit, fuck, you know. That kind of moment would fuck get you fucking bitches beat by catch but they'll go, oh shit, oh shit. Even the chicks maybe they'll be scared. Just gotta comfort them. You know what I mean? When they get scared like that, you gotta comfort their asses. You gotta comfort them. Just give them a little Coca-Cola wine glass style slash and fuck them a big black catch and drinking this magnificently, man. Cheers. That was a decent that was, man, that was ending, man. I fucking wrestling. That's wrestling, for fuck's sakes. Wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Fuck, I couldn't fucking believe it. That was fucking, I could not fucking believe it. That's fucking badass, you know what I mean? Fucking awesome, like. Fuck, man. I thought the show was gonna... I, I totally forgot this match was gonna happen. I, and I'm like... Because, like, the show... Like, I thought the show was gonna end after the Reigns match. But thankfully, I stayed. Because I was about to show the, do the review. And if, like... Literally, if the show was, like, just the two... Like, the fucking two TLC matches, the show would have been, like, just lame. But fuck that ending, man. That fucking last match, that main event, man. Wow. Fucking A. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, that's fucking wrestling there. That's fucking badass, my god. Let's go on with the pre-show. On the pre-show, Daniel Bryan, Big E, Otis, and Chad Gable defeat. Wait, Chad Gable with a face now? I don't care. Defeated Sami Zayn, Cesaro, Nakamura, and King Corbin. No way fucking cares. Their first match was Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre defeated AJ Styles and The Miz. The Miz actually cashed in money in the bank during the fucking match. I was like, what are you fu uh, First of all, when I thought it was like, are you fucking kidding me? You you're, you just had the lowest rating of Raw in history, and you're literally going to give fucking The Miz the fucking title? Thank God I was fucking wrong. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like in a bit of edge of my seat tonight with the two TLC matches. I will not lie to you. Even though the build-up sucked, and the storyline sucked, the matches weren't that terrible. It, they weren't the worst TLC matches, but it's not like TLC matches I would go back to watch. You know what I mean there? And plus, again, you're opening the match with a world title match. That's a problem. Re like, wrestling, back, you at least have the main event be the semi-main event. At the end, like, what the fuck happened to wrestling? You know what I mean? But whatever. It is what it is. I get it, because, you know, you're doing two TLC matches. This match was better off being, like, a ladder match, honestly, or something. But, hey, whatever. The match was okay. Like, Drew Mac... Like, but, you know, I get it. Oh, he's doing a uh, the submission hold with a ladder. That's going to add some damage. Okay, I get that, but come on. It makes the match boring. I just miss when TLC matches... This is where the match you need legit spots, people. You can't just do wrestling and shit. Sure. 
you know, use, use you use the ladder's weapon, chairs a weapon, tables a weapon. But you know, you gotta do fucking big shit. That's why fucking you know matches like the first few TLC matches were big time. And if you want to know a good example of a fucking single TLC match, look at Edge versus John Cena. Look at Edge versus The Undertaker. Since those singles TLC matches, there's been barely any legit good TLC matches as a singles match. And I'm sorry, this match, it it wasn't the worst TLC match, but it just wasn't, you know, great. But I don't, I wouldn't say I hate it, you know what I mean? When The Miz came out, I was like, what the fuck? Are you going to literally give him the fucking title after your lowest rating Raw in history? Thankfully, he didn't win, so that makes his fucking stupid money bank win a joke, but who, who cares at this point? The, 20, the fucking money in the bank this year was a joke, so I'm glad. I will say this, I laughed my ass, I didn't laugh my ass off, but I laughed. This was the first time I laughed in a wrestling show in a long ass time. Drew, fucking John Morrison hit the chair with the big black dude, almost or something, right? J AJ Styles' bodyguard. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I laughed out loud when that happened. I couldn't believe that. It was hilarious. The chair, I would admit, I would give this to WWE. I was actually happy with the show tonight. I am surprised. I'm fucking surprised. I thought this show was gonna suck. This show surprised me. That fucking mean event and a lot of, you know, there are things that hate, like say this show is shit, but I'm not going to try to hate the show because I was surprised with the show tonight. Okay? I'm not just going to... Again, people will think like, oh, I want to hate wrestling. I don't want to hate wrestling. I want to enjoy this shit. If it's good, I'll call it out and say it's good. You know? People say, why you still watch wrestling? Because a moment like tonight, people, when you got good stuff going on, you will fucking... That's why I still watch, because I love wrestling, alright? But fucking, thank God, fucking The Miz didn't want the fucking uh, the title. I was about to like, what the fuck are you doing? But the match wasn't really that exciting. It wasn't the worst match, but it's it's passable, you know what I mean? I guess. Then we got, then it went down a little bit there. The second match, Sasha Banks defeats Carmella. You got fucking feminazi shit where the men are making it look like the ma masculine shit. You know what I mean? They're fucking getting beat up and crap. Um, Billy Kay offers to be Asuka's tag team partner and has her own mask. And then fucking Asuka says she already has someone in mind. The third match. Cedric Alexander Shelton Benjamin defeats the New Day to become the new Raw Tag Champs. I really don't care, honestly. Whatever. I'm the nature boy, the nature boy. Uh, the nature boy tranny hit himself. Ric Flair Jr. is the mystery partner for Asuka to fight for the tranny She-Hulk Tag Titles. And her and Asuka defeated the fucking fat wild boar herself, Nia Jax, and... Uh, that fucking man-looking bitch, uh, Shayla Baszler, to win the, the women's tag titles. You know that's contradictory to the name, because you're giving it to fucking, you know, She-Hulks. The Royal Rumble will be uh, Sunday, July, uh, January 31st. Good, I guess. Uh, they literally showcased a stupid commercial where they're... Oh, they're body slamming 2020. More on that video. I actually recorded a video, which will be uploaded uh, later this week. Maybe after Christmas, that'll be a special video that I'm going to upload. Uh, the next match, Roman Reigns defeats Kevin Owens in a TLC match with the help of Jey Uso to win, retain the Universal title. Here's my problem with this match. You establish Roman Reigns as this, you know, you know how over the years, you know, people like to joke, they got to make Roman look strong. So after all these years when, you know, you got, when Reigns, you know, him being a badass, him, you know, taking out people... Like, he'll f be in a four-on-one situation and will take, on take out everybody. Now, because he's a heel, he can't fucking survive on his own. I understand, like, that's a he he's a heel, right? But here's the thing. Even credible heels, like, they didn't need fucking consistently every fucking time some help, okay? If anything, I'm sorry. I I'm glad Reigns won, but this made Reigns look a little weak, okay? It really did. You know, like fuck, especially like when this is a guy that Reigns could literally all easily beat up, right? Like fucking, you establish that Reigns he could beat fucking Kevin Owens without any help. You know, if fucking Re Kevin Owens doesn't get any help, he could beat this guy like this. But now all of a sudden, th like this is the stupidest thing. You know what I mean? 
like whatever. I I get it. He's a heel, but fuck, it just is dumb. Especially when he got fat ass Owens. Like uh, the match wasn't terrible. You know, it wasn't terrible. You had some you know cool shit happening. The, my problem is like here's the problem with TLC matches. Remember when back in the day TLC matches like you at least have uh, have a match in where like someone getting thrown through a table with a ladder. Whatever happened to that? That would have been perfect for this match. You know, perfect way to end this match, honestly. Like, I wouldn't have a problem with this match more if Jay was going to get too much involved and Reigns didn't look fucking, like, easily he could get beat up, you know what I mean? But whatever, it is what it is. I'm, I guess I'm glad Reigns won. The match wasn't terrible, but the reality is it's just, it's, it's just dumb that Reigns is now a guy who's like, he can't do anything on his own anymore, you know what I mean? It's dumb. When you fucking first had him won against, you know, won the Universal title, he didn't need anybody to help him. You had him fucking just have him being a badass, fucking defeat a showman and Bray Wyatt and like, like that. You know what I mean? You had him fucking beat Jay Uso like that. You know, wh why now all of a sudden he needs help with Jay Uso? <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is there. Like, um, oh, it's announced that SmackDown, uh, apparently it's gonna be taped anyways. Or whatever, Sami Zayn versus Biggie for the Intercontinental title made official. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say, you know what would made the fucking TLC match better with Re Reigns? It should just not have been a singles match. It should. I wouldn't mind if you made it a triple threat, honestly. You know what I mean? And he got a little animosity. Like it would not fucking. You wouldn't see constantly them climbing up and instead of getting stopped. It would make sense, like why Jay Uso stops. You know what I mean? It would have been perfect, honestly. Or heck. I remember, if memory serves me right, like, I remember Otis got beaten up by Reigns. Like, you could have done something where, like, oh, he lost his money in the bank unfairly. You could have done a fatal four-way, something like that, even though I would think that's dumb. But, hey, at least that'll be something that'll be kind of whatever, you know? But that's what that's whatever. And the main event, the main event there. Randy Orton defeats Bray Wyatt while the Fiend in, a, in the Firefly for Inferno match. When I heard Fly Fly, okay, at first when the match started, I thought there'd be cock teasers. I thought we were going to see a fucking inf legit Inferno match from back in the day where they're going to have the entire ring lit on fire. And I was like immediately so fucking pissed, like, okay, they cock tease us. But then, I guess this is brilliant. They're using the advantage of this whole Thunderdome stuff and the advantage of this cold. You never know, a lot of shit happened with COVID, right? I will say this. There are some cool things that happened, and this is one of the cool examples. You used the fucking arena become a fire. That was fucking cool. That was actually fucking cool. The match was kind of hardcore, not really hardcore, but you know, they used the chains, they used an axe handle, they used like, you know, like, they were trying to use the fucking inferno and stuff like that. I wish it could have been hardcore. I wish at least they would use a little bit of the tables, glass, and chairs, since it is TLC, but again, like, it would have been perfect if literally this pay-per-view wasn't TLC. I just don't understand why you have to fucking call this TLC. Why you keep on doing gimmick pay-per-views. I would have been happy if you brought back Armageddon. This match would have been perfect to be for Armageddon. Or fuck, just call it Vengeance. It's fucking Armageddon is such a scary word to use as a pay-per-view now. For God's sake. So apparently, you know, it means like fucking the world ending and shit like that. Um, but fuck, that fucking match, man. That was good. That was actually a good match. Or in fucking, you know, you fucking, I was like on the edge of my seat a little bit and shit like that. You know, fuck, it was good. It was like fucking, you know, oh. You were like, oh, there was about to, it, it reminded me a bit, you know, back in the day, like the edge here. Sure, you know, it was good. It's been a long time to see like an Inferno match. So that's fucking awesome. And then literally, like, I was surprised, like, oh, wow, the Fiend had the man Bukwa. I'm actually happy Orton won too, you know what I mean? And then fucking, you know, Bray Wyatt, oh, he got burned to the fuck, he got his jacket burned, he's on fire, I thought it was like a little bit cool, they knocked out of nowhere, and then fucking, you know, the fiend is like fucking knocked out, and then he got then fucking Orton, got the gasoline, spread it on fucking his ass, and literally lit his ass on fire, that was fucking badass, that is so fucking cool, you know what I mean? It's not fucking, again, it's cool, it is fucking like, Wow, like, that's wrestling, <laughs> alright? That's wrestling. You want to fucking talk about being adult-oriented? 
You want to talk about being fucking Ed? That's fucking shit like that, man. Shit like that. I know, unfortunately, probably WWE's going to get a little complaints by fucking families and shit, but come on. That's why, you know, you got to make sure you know your kids do fucking learn from right and wrong. But my God, that's fucking, that's wrestling, dude. I loved it. I loved it. Fucking awesome moment. Cool main event. The entire show, honestly, because of the main event and like the ma the TLC matches weren't that terrible. Despite some boring moments, I'm going to have to give this show a decent rating. Decent fucking show. God, wow. That was fucking awesome. I'm actually happy. Fuck. It's been a long time I enjoyed a fucking wrestling show. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. And I was surprised. I was literally surprised. I want to make sure I don't forget. You know what I mean? But that was unexpected. That was fucking... Wow. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. I want to make sure I don't forget. But, you know, um... What the fuck? Yeah, um... I'm just reading some shit. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm just reading some stupid comments, like, you know, some, yeah, so, uh, some people, like, clearly, like, people who are complaining about this show, they probably never watched the Ad Terra and all this stuff, you know. But anyways, but it's not like it's cock tease. It's not like fucking you're doing a gay shit. At least The Fiend is somewhat of a cool character. So at least it makes sense. It's not like fucking, God forbid, it's legit the fire, or like the Firefly uh, fucking the, you know. It's not like fucking the Bray Wyatt of 2014. It's not like gay like that, you know what I mean? Where he's like a fucking hillbilly. Duck Dynasty motherfucker. You know what I mean? I want to make sure if it... Is it okay? Okay, but, uh... Yeah, I just want to make sure. Uh, but, my God, that was cool. You know? The Fiend is a better character for Bray Wyatt. Fucking Orton. Fucking, that was fucking... It reminded me definitely about or Orton and Undertaker. You know? It's good. It's not good. Oh, obviously, The Fiend's not going to be Undertaker, right? But at least, in terms of today's standards... You at least are trying. You're doing good shit. So I will say that. I am very happy. But you can't just stop with this shit. You gotta keep continuing to do cool shit. That was fucking awesome though. So overall, decent fucking show. I am very happy about that. That The ending, that's fucking wrestling. You know what I mean? You wanna talk about being a family show? A family show would bring fucking, like, wrestling brings people together, right? You know, I remember back in the day, my family would w want to watch wrestling and enjoy it. You know what I mean? This is probably something I would be gladly to show my father tonight. You know? Wrestling used to be something... Alright, my camera cut off, but again, I just want to make that point. Like, seriously, wrestling used to be something, you know, the family would actually enjoy. Not just kid shit, like, not like family-oriented, no. It's just like, back in the day, like, even, like, family would enjoy watching shit like the ad tear, Rootless Gresham, and stuff like that. Just badass, you know what I mean? Like a TV, good old TV show that's fucking badass. Even like the fucking, you know, I, like, fucking Walking Dead and shit like that, right? Even I'm not, like, a big fan of The Walking Dead. But seriously, that's fucking wrestling. That was good shit. I just hope fucking WWE keeps improving. But overall, that was a decent show. I would say that. Even though, like, most shit was kind of boring. But that ending was fucking badass. Till next time. Peace. Yabba. Yeah,